Hi guys, I wanted to do a vlog for this post. Um, so here I am in my car because it is Tuesday, December 3rd. I have my next follow-up appointment with my oncologist next Friday, December 13th. So I am going in for follow-up appointments every four months. It's been over two and a half years that I have been cancer-free and I'm going in once a year now for CT scans. Uh, so when I went in in August, I was all good, and my oncologist said, okay, we'll do your CT scan, your annual CT scan coming up for your December appointment. So I was like, okay. So usually I get a call like two weeks or so ahead of time, to s at least, maybe more like a month ahead to schedule the CT scan, and then I know to make it in like a week before that CT scan to get my blood drawn because uh, they need to like check my kidney levels, I believe, to make sure that they can handle the stress of the contrast that they inject during the CT scan. So I didn't get a call. Last week was Thanksgiving, and we were out of town, so I forgot and didn't call and forgot yesterday. So it's Tuesday. I called the office, the oncologist's office, and was like, um, I need to schedule my CT scan. You guys haven't called me yet. And they had no record of me needing one. I was like, Dr. Marcus said that I needed one the next time I saw him. So they looked and then they changed their story and said that, oh, we've been trying to call you, um, but they haven't. I've gotten no calls and my phone number has not changed at all since I started seeing them. So I don't know if they actually were calling or what. So they said, okay, we're sending it in to the insurance company to get approved. And if you don't hear from them by Friday, we will um, have you, you can call the office and see if you can get scheduled. So I was like, hmm, okay, so I figured it's time to go in at least and get my blood drawn. So I'm here in the parking lot. I go to just the office where my primary care doctor is because they have a lab in there and it's only 10 minutes from our house as opposed to like 25 minutes to get to the hospital where the cancer center is. So I'm here. I'm going to go in and see if they actually even have uh, my blood draw request in or if they're going to have to call the oncologist's office for that too. Uh, but if they do, the, the oncologist's office is really fast about responding to that and I should still be able to get the blood drawn. So I'll be back shortly and let you know how that went. Hi guys, I'm back. Hey, called it. They didn't have the request for my blood draw, so the lady was new, not the usual one, so she didn't call the oncologist's office for me. I had to call them, and then um, she just gave me the fax number. She was not very nice. So <laughs> I called the oncologist's office, and so they were like, okay, we'll send the request up to the lab, and then they will send it in to this lab. So. Uh, it took like 15 minutes or so, 20 minutes, I don't know. It's been about 40 minutes since I left the car and went inside. So they sent over the results. Once they, I heard the facts come in, within five minutes, um, they had entered in the info and I was called back to get my blood drawn. So blood has been drawn. They took out three vials. One was a small one, about yay big. The other two were probably yay big and about this big around, um, yeah. I don't know what was in the bottom of those two, but like before they even put my blood in, there was something that looked kind of like Vaseline or wax hanging out at the bottom. So I don't know what any of those mean, but three vials for a checkup and to check all of whatever they check, which includes my CEA and then to make sure the kidney levels are fine for the CT scan. So I will check back in with you guys when it's CT scan time. Hopefully they will let me come in and at least take pictures, if not do a video um, of me doing the CT scan, but I don't know if that's going to happen or not because at the blood draw site, I've tried taking pictures before while I was getting the blood drawn and they said, if you take a picture, don't get anybody else in it except for yourself and don't post where you got it taken at. So. My daughter took the pictures for me the one time. So I'll check back in with you guys when I'm getting my CT scan, hopefully. All right, talk to you soon. So I mentioned that I had my blood drawn to check my CEA levels, but what exactly is a CEA? Well, it is a tumor marker and it's actually a protein that's in your blood. CEA, it stands for, and I'm gonna read it, carcinoembryonic antigen. So it checks for that level in your blood. 
and that protein it elevates when there's tumor activity in people with certain types of cancers. So colorectal cancer is one of those where the CEA, in most people, it's a good indicator as to whether or not there's tumor activity inside of you. So for a healthy person, the level should be under 2.5. Um, if you're a smoker, it should be under 5. Mine, for the first two years, I was tested after treatment, it was less than 0.5. Then it kind of started creeping up a little bit. It went to 0.6 and then 0.7, but it's not always a good indicator. So that's why the CT scan is also necessary. They spread them out as you get further away from finishing treatment. So now I'm just going in once a year. Hi guys, I'm back. Um, I hadn't heard from the CT office about scheduling my CT scan. So it's Friday, so I called them and they were like, oh yeah, let's get you scheduled. And they actually had an opening on Monday, 8.15 a.m. So I was like, yeah, give me that appointment. So that should be plenty of time for them to take the uh, images and then to get to the oncologist for my appointment on Friday, a week from today. So this is a new place that I'm getting the images done. This place, I have to do the barium smoothies. I have two of these fantastic things, 450 milliliters each. So I have to drink one at 6.15 in the morning and then the other one at 7.15 in the morning before the 8.15 a.m. CT scan. From what I can tell, because I've only had the berry one and it had a picture of berries on it, but this one just has a picture of your digestive system. So I hope it's not digestive system flavored. But when I looked at the ingredients, uh, it has artificial orange and vanilla flavor. So I'm guessing it tastes like a medical creamsicle, I'm guessing. Uh, so I'll drink these on Monday and I will check back in on Monday while I'm drinking these to let you know how they are. Good morning. It's taken me like four tries to get this down because I'm at the skating break. And there's loud music, so it's hard to get good video anywhere, but here we are. Maybe this one will be loud enough. I am uh, drinking my smoothie. It's more orange than vanilla. I'm not tasting the vanilla, so. Good morning. The music is off for a minute, so I'm gonna hop on and um, tell you that part of getting ready for the CT scan is that you're supposed to wear stuff that doesn't have metal on it. So I am in yoga pants, comfy shirt, and then women, you're supposed to wear a sports bra, no underwires, otherwise you have to change into a hospital gown. So it is about time for me to grab smoothie number two, because it is 714. Those things, okay, let me pull number two out here for you. I don't have to bring it to the ring. You open it up, it has one of those fun seals. You're supposed to uh, lift it, open it, except I can't lift and open it. And since I am not at home, I just use this good old key to uh, stab it open so that I can stick the straw in. So. Bottoms up for number two. Oh, 7.15 now. Time to get started on row dose. Within a half hour, got to drink it all. Um, my tummy, it's a little bit uh, not happy. Not too bad, but it feels, I, I had to go down and go to the bathroom. Time for smoothie number two. Um, about two thirds of the way through it. My tummy's a little extra gurgly, but otherwise it's handling it okay. So, here we go. Whew, okay, so that was a rough morning. Uh, let's see here. So I last left, I think when I was finishing up the final smoothie, my insides were super gurgly, and uh, after a little bit, then I really felt the urgency to need to go to the bathroom. Uh, but I had to drop my daughter off and then head to the, straight to the office. So 
I had to hold it for a little bit. As soon as I got to the imaging office though, I ran to the bathroom and it was um, basically, if you've been through the colonoscopy prep, that's kind of what it was like on the toilet there for about 10 minutes, uh, which I was really surprised with. I did not have that problem the very first time that I did the CT scan with the barium smoothies, but my digestive system is a little different now than it was that very first time when I did it for my diagnosis. So lesson learned, I need to make sure that I get in at the cancer center and not at a different office because at the cancer center, they don't require the barium smoothies. So I wasn't able to take any pictures or video of the actual scan. But here's a picture of what the machine looked like. It's a little different from the one that I usually um, get imaged by at the cancer center. Here's a picture of me at the cancer center with the CT machine that they use. So as you can see, they're a little bit different. We'll go back to the one that I was imaged by today. I got an IV in and then the table rose and went into the machine up to about my pelvis level and so it took me out and then back in and then out uh, either two or three times, I don't remember already. So then after those two or three um, sets of images, it rolls back out and then there's this fancy pump which they have attached to the IV and the pump first pushes saline in because the tech isn't in the room, she's outside. So it pushes the saline in and then in the other barrel it pushes the contrast in and then this time the contrast, it started, I felt it in my throat because um, I had my arms up above my head but they were at a bit of an elevation because there was a pillow back there so I think even though the contrast went into my arm and the arm would have been the closest, I think it fell in like gravity took it to my throat first and so then the machines the table starts rolling into the machine again and right as the machine was saying to take a deep breath and hold your breath that's when the warm feeling made it down to my crotch and it feels like you've peed your pants and then after that then I felt it warming up my mostly just my hands. I didn't feel it in the rest of my arm. So that was a little different from usual. Uh, but I had to hold my breath for all of those scans, forgot to mention that. Um, but I mean, the machine tells you when you have to hold your breath and when you can breathe. This one, it didn't count it down like the machine at the cancer center. So I just had to hold it, but none of them, I had to hold my breath for more than like 10 seconds or so. Um, then after doing, going sliding the table in and out like another three times or so, then I was all done. So she disconnected my IV and I could come home. And so I got home and I purged some more in the bathroom, uh, but I wasn't hungry at all all morning until like one o'clock and I finally had lunch. I still, it's like five o'clock now and I still feel a little unsettled. It's not gurgly, um, but I feel like at any time I could maybe go back into an episode of diarrhea. So I did eat a normal lunch. Um, you are supposed to drink a lot of water after going through and doing the CT scan because of all that barium and then the contrast that they put into you. They want you to drink a lot of water to flush all that out. So. I have not been very good about that today. So this is my reminder to myself to start drinking more water. She said today and even the next day. So tomorrow I should be drinking a lot of water too. So that was the story of going through the CT scan. Now I wait. My appointment with my oncologist is on Friday. Today's Monday. Um, and the tech said within about three days they should have the results. So I was like, okay, that seems like a long time but that'll still be in plenty of time for my oncologist to receive the results and go over them with me on Friday. So that's what having a CT scan is like, at least with the uh, barium prep. So I hope that was informative to you guys and you learned a little something. I've put in a poll up here. Let me know if you've done a CT scan before, did you have some horrible diarrhea after doing those barium smoothies? I'd love to know how many of you have experienced that because I've never did before and I haven't heard anybody um, 
mention it before, but it's not really something you usually discuss. So you can tell me anonymously in the poll. I won't know which, who voted which way. I'll just know that people have voted. So next week, I will, hopefully in an exciting way, share with you what I eat throughout the week because I get a lot of questions as someone that's had a temporary ileostomy that was reversed, what I eat and what I do to keep the toilet from ruling my life. Hello, I'm here for one final wrap up of all the CT scan craziness because I can't just leave you hanging after I went in for it and not let you know what the results were like. So, um, well, I've got a celebratory coffee here because CT scans came out clear. No signs of any tumor or cancer activity at all. Um, my CEA results was um, they came in at a 0 0.6 so it went down a tenth of a point from the last time so happy to hear that uh, he said my white blood cell counts are still at 4.1 this past time which normal range for a healthy adult is anywhere from 4 to 11 so it's within the range but really down at the bottom so now I wait another four months till I go back to see my oncologist again uh, that time, when I go in in another four months, I'll just do the blood draw. I won't have to do a CT scan. If you're new here and need to catch up on some of my older videos, I've got the playlist up here on my um, beginning of my cancer journey. So you can go through everything from my diagnosis story through tests and all of that. And also, you can click on my head down there to subscribe so you'll be notified when all of my videos are uploaded every week. And if you liked this video, I'd love it if you gave me a thumbs up or a like over here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.